Welcome to SimpleKidsCrafts.com Episode 620 How to make soda tap flowers and accessories Materials Recycled soda tabs Large or medium buttons Plastic gems and glue Today we'll be using soda tabs and we will have a large button or a medium button to make a flower. In this case I'm using a medium button and the first step is to take a little bit of glue and attach one of the soda tabs to one side of the button in this way. And then on the opposite side we're going to attach another tab, making sure that we align every single one of them in the same way we will get something like this and then we will go around the spaces that haven't been filled yet by attaching the solar tabs right on top now for this project we will need in total about four tabs to set the first frame and then we will need an additional four tabs to cover the empty spaces and as you can see it's very easy to attach the tabs if you're using a hot glue gun and if you're making this project with your child it's better that you do the gluing for them and they do the actual picking of the colors and so on and so forth and that's it here we have our flower and now what we want to do with this is to give it a pop of color if you want to use a larger button, then you will get a rounder flower. For this one, however, I wanted to use a medium button so that I can actually attach other things to the flower itself in the middle. I'm going to use a flower bead and attach it to the center of my button. And then I'm going to use a smaller flower to give it a layer effect. After you do a couple of these flowers, you can use them for different projects. You can use them for keychains, as medallions. You can use them for bracelets. You can use them for rings. The usage is endless, really, um, if you come up with a couple of different types. Now, I have a hair clip that I have already prepared for my flower here, and I have attached the same kind of flower at the end of it. And I'm going to put a bit of glue on top of my hair clip and then I am going to attach the flower. You don't have to keep with the color of the soda tabs themselves. You can also use a little bit of nail polish and give it some color if you want to. This is the end result of our flower right now. But I want to show you a couple of different things that I did with the flowers that I had made uh, previously so you can get an idea of what kind of things you can make with these flowers so here I have a larger button as you can see and I have colored each one of the tabs by using nail polish and then I attached it to a pin and in the center I put a plastic gemstone so here we have another one that I made and this is a ring and in the center I use small beads uh, and then I color the sides of each one of the tabs in blue and now I want to show you this one that I made as a medallion and as you can see it has little flowers in the center and you don't always need to use a button you can use a piece of cardboard you can use a piece of foam if you want to and in that case I use a cap here I have one that I have made 
with a scrapbooking flower and I made it into this little flower over here and now this bracelet as you can see which I have um, made by using a very large button a medium button and then a star um, bead as well as smaller beads and that's a bracelet right there so the amount of ideas is really to whatever you want to do here for decoration for magnets for keychains and I hope that you enjoy this project and that you make it at home. I'll see you on the next video. Bye!